Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. We're going to be taking a look at a queen knife today. We'll just grab the box and we'll take a look around that to start with. So you have the queen logo here on this sort of like orangey red background. We have a blue on the front with pocket knives and the queen logo. Plain on this side, on the back again you've got pocket knives and the queen logo as well. And it's also plain on this side as well. This is a magnetic style close, very similar to the Rough Rider boxes. You can see you just have some queen design inside the logo inside there, over the inner packaging. And it is that nice sort of foam felt liner, similar to what you'd also get in a Rough Rider as well. Holds a knife in really secured, nice to see that in transit. And of course it is a magnetic style close. So today we're going to be taking a look at the QN64R and that is the Queen Canoe and the R stands for the red sort of synthetic handles. So I'll just pop that to one side. So this is what we're looking at today, the Queen Canoe in the red synthetic. So take a look at the close length and we're pretty much right on with one, two, three, three point six inches closed. We do have nickel silver bolsters either side, plain, no pinching, no lining, anything like that. Just a really nice, simple design. Do have nickel silver pins as well. And I believe that is an enamel queen shield in there with the black background. And of course, this wonderful, vibrant red synthetic handle. Really smooth. Transitions are pretty much perfect. The only thing I can feel is the texturing on that shield, but you can see that's because it's sort of embossed. So no concerns at all regarding that as well. On the reverse of the knife, similar story. Nickel silver bolsters either end, nickel silver pins. And again, the transitions are perfect. You can't feel the pins at all. There's nothing proud, anything like that at all. Something a bit different on this, on this sort of canoe is the Rough Rider ones. They do have two springs on the back separated, but this one looks like it just has the one. Unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that looks like a single spring. But you can see here as well, we've got to have that steel spring and the brass liners either side. And you can see the fit and finish is absolutely wonderful. And this was a relatively cheap knife as well. I got this for um, £17 from Cyclair Knives and Tools here in the UK. Um, I will put a link in the description for anyone who's interested. But one of the things I do want to point out about this canoe that John did mention in his open tag response to my Queen, uh, Queen, sorry, canoe collection video is the, the tangs do stick a little bit proud of the bolsters and we'd normally see with a cop head and a canoe that they would be covered. If I just give you a quick example of that. So just bear with me while I grab one. So I just use this sort of rough rider as an example. You can see that the tangs are covered either side. There's nothing sticking up and you can see that they are quite a bit taller on the rough rider. Nothing to deter away from the knife, just something that I would have liked to see. Maybe the bolts has been made a bit higher. But of course this is a two bladed design and we have this wonderful spear point blade that is on a half stop. And please ignore the oil, I have just cleaned this up. So you can see you have queen there on the tang stamp and queen steel there as well as the blade etch. We do have a match strike nail nick. And no swedging, anything like that, just a really nice working blade. Excellent action on this. I'd say the pull is right around a six and a half to a seven. Really wonderful. We'll take a quick look at that edge as well now. Quite a heavy grind, but it's quite even all the way across, and it did come really sharp. And same story on the back, really. Maybe a little bit shallow just up by here and heavier here, but as long as the knife comes sharp to me and it's not too wonky, I'm not so fussed. And with this being a budget knife, I mean, you've got to let a couple of things slide and I don't mind a little bit of wonky edge. You can see here as well, we do have a nice 440C, so a bit of an upgrade from the Rough Riders of 440A and of course made in China. So the full blade length we are looking at, it looks pretty bang on two and a half, one, two and a half inches, yep. And then the cutting edge we're looking at just shy of two and a quarter. And of course, as I mentioned, that is on a half stop with a really nice walk and talk. The pen blade then, you can see it has that same queen tang stamp on there, the etch with the match strike nail nick. And of course, no swedging either. Edge on this one, 
pretty much the same story as the main blade, a little bit heavy in places, but it came absolutely razor sharp out of the box. Another thing I will say about this, it has, does have quite an awkward tang shape on the pen blades of these Queen Canoes. You can see what I mean, there's this whole massive bit down here. But I'm guessing because it's on it's on one spring that's needed so that you know this one doesn't have blade wrap, or so that it doesn't go too far into the handle that you wouldn't be able to grab it. But of course this is on a half stop as well, and has a really nice walk and talk. Pull six six and a half on that, really solid little blade. The full blade length then we're looking at one, just shy of two, with that quite a large tang, and then when you Take it down to the cutting edge, we're just shy of one and a half. So it's a bit of a weird tang that, but it doesn't deter away from the knife from here. It is a wonderful looking canoe. And some canoes I've been adding to my collection very recently. My collection of canoes is growing quite rapidly. Hence why I chucked out the open tag yesterday for you to see how my collection is going. But this is a wonderful addition. If anyone's in the UK and you want to pick this up from Cyclair, it's less than £20. They have this one and the yellow one on there. They have loads of the Queen models on there. And they're just a fantastic price. Really great service on the shipping. It comes a day after the next. So just in two days. And that's absolutely wonderful. Just give you guys another close-up of that red synthetic. It's done so well. It's so smooth. Transitions are perfect. It's been wonderfully hafted. There's no gaps. I'm just amazed for the price what you can really get. And it's 440C steel as well. That's a great steel to have on a traditional knife. Just over the moon with this one, really. I think it's a fantastic piece and one that's never going to leave my collection. I'm just really enjoying the canoe at the moment. So there we go, guys. That is my review of the Queen Red Synthetic Canoe. I'll just give you that model number again, which is QN64R. And that is part of the Queen Steel series. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Hope to catch you again. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.